Let's just go down and CP. Uh, we'll look at all the units here on, based on CP here. Alright. So, Arbiter Vildred. Standard build, 3.9k attack. 231 speed, 100% crit chance, 282 crit damage. Overall, really, really good stats. Uh, oh, actually, this is not sta not as standard as you expect. Speed immunity it actually has immunity, which makes it even better. Most people at this with these kind of stats, you see them on speed crit. So, speed immunity with 100% crit chance, with these kind of stats. This is mine, but with immunity. So actually, this is really good. Um. I can't tell if this is world, boor, world boss or actually used. Because I mean, the stats aren't bad, to be honest. It seems like it's something you would... Ah, world boss bench. Okay. I see. Vivian. Okay, so speed broken. Um, 3.7k attack, 240 speed, 100% crit chance, 260 crit damage. Now, this is a pretty solid Vivian build, even for PvP, but it looks like you're using this more for like A13 one shot and anything. Something like that, right? I mean, overall, this is good for PvP still. You can still use this for PvP, but also for A13. Yeah. Um, and all right, Emma Luluka, speed crit. Oof. All right, 3.3K, almost 3.4K attack, 264 speed, 100% crit chance, 270 crit damage. So it's a pretty damn fast Emma Luluka with good attack and good crit damage still. Also, obviously, 100% crit chance. I'm curious about the stats for this. Okay. Okay. Doesn't really have... Okay, well, the health is here for this. This would have been really nice if this was like... Um, if you had attack percent subs for that, but... Ooh, nice pair of boots. Um, all right, Rylet, Violet's Talisman, Rylet, Speed Immunity, 3.7k attack, 223 speed, 100% crit chance, 242 crit damage. Standard Rylet, you'll see. Uh, a lot of days now, people are switching to Life Steal. A lot, I mean, from last season, a lot of people did switch to Life Steal, so. But this Rylet, 1.4k defense, 11.7k HP. This Rylet actually has quite a bit of beef, even on a speed, even on a speed build. So it's actually a really nice Rylet. Spectre, speed immunity, 3.7k attack, 3.7k attack, 1.5k defense, almost 11k HP, 181 speed, 100% crit chance. 275 crit damage, 30% effectiveness. Ow. No wasted stats again. Oof. Dude, this helmet is so nice. Because of the flat attack, this helmet is so nice. Gives you so much stats. There's no wasted stats here because if there is a flat, there's a substat with a percentage there. So this is actually really nice. All right, Charles. Um, I imagine this is for like Banshee or something, right? I don't think this Charles is really used for PvP. Oh, cleave mostly. Okay, so like a slow cleave. So speed immunity. Don't really see many people use Charles like this anymore these days. Okay. <laughs> 3.2k attack, 1.3k defense, 10k HP, 211 speed, 100% crit chance, 282 crit damage. I don't see many of these that often. Most of the times I do see one, they are like counter nowadays. So, but I imagine so. few people still use this. Briar Rich. Speed build, not cleave build. So speed crit, 3.3k attack, um, 224 speed, 
100% crit chance, 209 crit damage. It's actually, it has a lot of offensive stats for being this fast, actually. To be honest. Um, so, this is still pretty nice for Berseria, though. Sermia. Okay, so it's still speed, it's speed crit, but it's on um, it's on attack percent boots, so it's a little bit slower. 4.7k attack, 100% crit chance, 295 crit damage. This this looks more for, especially with this artifact, Hollow Trials. Yeah. All right, SSB. Oh, I'm at. Ah, not a PVP SSB. This is for a wyvern one shot. This is for Wyvern one shot, so not gonna go over this too much, but hyper damage for Wyvern one shot. All right, Acid speed unit 2.7, 2. Point, well, 2.8k attack, 291 speed, 100% crit chance, 244 crit damage on portrait. Has a bit of effectiveness here as a substat. So, substats, speed substats wise, doesn't need to be crazy since um, he does have high base speed, so some of them can be a little bit lower. Like the helmet was 15, this one's 21. Probably make up for that. 16, average speed for these. And he can already be pretty fast there, right? So like, doesn't have to be crazy, right? 16, pre-reforge, you can be 13 speed. This one, this can be 12 or 13 speed pre-reforge, right? This one probably has to be a little bit harder. You know, 14, 15 speed. And then obviously the 21 is a little bit harder. So like you have one or two pieces that's really good. And then you have the rest that are kind of average that you can get. But overall, really nice acid still has damage. Luna. Oh, it's actually on Draco plate actually, surprisingly. Speed crit, 3.8k. I can't imagine, is this used for PVP? World boss in some PVE? Okay, so not for PVP wise, but world boss Luna. Vildred speed crit um, does have the imprint, so you can use this for uh, for speed contest with the imprint itself. With it has some good damage. It actually has really nice damage. 4.4k attack, 161 speed, 100% crit chance, 297 crit damage. On portrait here. All right, Tempest Surin. Oof. All right. Oh, this is oh this is nice. 3.4, almost 3.5k attack. Um, low defense, low health, which is nice. 202 speed, 95 crit chance, unfortunately not 100, but uh, 267 crit damage. It is on Alexa's basket though, so. Um, all right, life steal. Oof, that's a lot of attack. That's a lot of damage. That's a nice chess piece. Oh, these are some really nice lifesteal pieces. 25% crit chance necklace. This is also really nice. 12. Flat attack with attack percent. So this is really good too. I'm surprised about this one. This one could be... This one This one definitely has a lot more potential. Because 26% substat as a defense. Don't really think that's necessary per se. But... Um, and then the boots. These three though. The left side, like, these are really nice lifesteal pieces on for Tempest Surin. So this is a really nice lifesteal Tempest Surin. Uh, Bologna. What? That's a really fast Bologna. I'm guessing this is for A13 one-shot too, right? Possibly. Or you can use it. Do you use this in PvP? For... Old A13 one-shot? Okay. Alright, so I'm not gonna go too much into this. Uh, Lorena, not gonna talk about that, not gonna talk about Karen, these are Wyvern PV units. So, Selene is on Destruction Immunity. There's a lot, of, every unit has immunity pretty much, right? Destruction Immunity, full damage, 4.5k attack, 100% crit chance, 342 crit damage, so. It's gonna nuke, it's for the Oxlots counter, right? Uh, Ludwig, not gonna talk about that too much. Oh, nice gear. I'm assuming this is a gear holder, but it's nice. 
Rage Set PVE gear. Rage Set. Faithless Lydica, 282 speed. Speed crit with 100% crit chance. Wait, this is... Why is the crit chance not... Is this... Is it because this is not truly 100% yet? Because it's not red? Or is red only when you go over it? Oh, perfectly 100% interesting. Red is overage. Ah, I see. Okay. Wow. Um, rarely do you get like exactly the right amount. All right. So attack percent. Uh, oh, sorry, that doesn't matter. Two eighty two speed, hundred percent crit chance, with one hundred thirty effectiveness. Solid, fl solid Flitica. <laughs> Overall. Um, twenty one speed helmet. Twenty one speed chest piece. 17 speed necklace 20 speed ring Flitica does require a lot better gear though compared to everyone else all right judge kise this is disgusting destruction immunity at 4k attack 100 crit chance 350 crit damage and you have a bit of effectiveness random stats but th this is the really nice this is a really nice judge kise though Honestly, very nice Judge Kise. Alright. Let me go over the gear here real quick. Ooh, this is even missing potential here. Um, like I mean technically, well, like you even you don't even need this, right? The only thing like at this point is you might switch to running like instead of crit damage. If you get like really a lot. I think at this point that's when you min max, right? If all of this goes into like crit damage or something, you get really like insane crit damage subs, then you somehow start switching the necklace to like attack percent with crit damage subs, right? But that's like, that's far, far, far. That, that's far, not to mention this free to play necklace rules super well. All right, Kron. Freaking counter Kron's. Literally PTSD, but okay, anyways. Counter immunity. 4.2k attack slow with 100% uh, crit chance 290 crit damage i i hate these k-rons so much i i hate these k-rons so much they, they just end your career just like that all right um melissa don't think this is used armintha not gonna go with that uh asaria i'm most of these i think are pve but Actually, this one has a bit of... This one can be used in PvP. There's actually decent stats, too. Has a bit of attack. 1.5k defense. 14k HP. 217 speed. 100% crit chance. 240 crit. That's actually still a really nice Asaria, to be honest. Um, is there... Oh, wait. So this is PvP. Okay. So it's not like... Uh, it's not like the tanky Asarias that we see running Proof of Valor. But it's like in the middle. It has HP and defense. But it also has damage, so it's like a hybrid bruiser one. That is actually really nice, though. Ravi, strong unit right now. 2.4k attack, bit of defense, 18k HP, 173 speed, not crazy fast, 95 crit chance, 296 crit damage, but has a lot of damage output here. All right, so, ah, the PvP SSB. 3.6k attack, 1.5k defense, 14.6k HP, 130 speed, 100% crit chance, 214 crit damage, 60% effectiveness. This is actually a really nice SSB. Immunity, double crit set. Some really nice pieces. Some really nice pieces, to be honest. That's actually really nice. So, just a little bit tanky for PvP, so she doesn't die. Is the other SSB... Uh... Oh my gosh. This one's plus 13. This one's plus 15. Okay. Well then. Yeah, well, you know, you guys remember we were talking about how... Uh, yeah, MOLA problems are 
are not for the free to play. Yeah. Molas aren't something uh, the free to play should worry about yet. Um. All right. Uh, Yuna, gear holder, Gunther. Oh, this is actually a really nice gun. It's actually really nice. 7.3k attack, 1.4k defense, 13.3k HP, 179 speed. This is uh this is really nice against like Rylets, right? Rylets, um What else? Technically you could use this against Tempest Cern too. Right? So like Rylet, Tempest Cern, you know. You can use this against quite a few units. But I think most people use this against Rylet. But this is a really nice um Gunther. Champion Zerato, we don't see many people use this anymore, unfortunately, but Champion Zerato here. When you do when you do have a situation where you use him, he's decent. Um, but you definitely don't see him used as much now. I, I actually don't see him used unless it's a counter pick. Possibly. Um, but ha has some has some attack. Has quite a bit of beef on him for what it is. Not super fast though. But crit chance, crit damage. So definitely leaning a bit more towards having um, a little bit more damage with a bit of beef. All right, a Tywin. So this is a sort of pseudo hybrid build, but lower on the damage side. All right, so 1.4k defense, 21k HP, 191 speed, 97% crit chance. So you do still have a bit of damage from the crit, crit damage, and 155 effectiveness. It is a really nice A Tywin. That's crit chance necklace. Health, effectiveness, defense, crit damage. Oh, all these subs are really, all those subs are really nice for him. Um, super solid A Tywin. Lydica. Not really used here, looks like. No I 90s. Icon, not for PvP. Um, yeah, rage set. So A Ravi though. A Ravi was used a lot last season. Um, so speed crit crimson seed. Typical. 2k attack, so not super high attack. Um, 20k HP, 206 speed, with a uh, hundred percent crit chance and 284 crit damage. Overall, still really good A Ravi though. A Ravi is still really strong um, at the very end of this. It, it was very strong at the end of Season 2 World Arena because of how the meta shifted and um, how tanky everyone became. And it wasn't about one shotting people anymore, um, unless you're cleaving. It was about slow damage, which A Ravi, A Ravi is really again, good against those enemies, those teams where you take, you know, slow damage teams. C Dom, so it's a it's a speed broken C Dom with um, attack percent boots. So 4.4k attack, 167 speed, 51 crit chance, and 342 crit damage. Overall, though, super good C Dom for uh, cleaving. Oof! Oh my God! 19 speed ring. Dang! Too bad this is on destruction. If this was anything but destruction, like a, if this was like a speed set, that'd be amazing. Or a crit set, that'd be amazing too. But destruction, I guess you could go broken set for someone, but it's hard for those units. That's a really nice helmet. Um, that's a really nice necklace there. All right, a little bit. Not gonna go in that. Lilius. Speed immunity. This is so. This is a Bruiser Lilius. 1.5k defense, 19k HP, 196 speed, 95 crit chance, 268 crit damage, 40% effectiveness. S1 is maxed out. So as I do say, if you want to go Bruiser Lilius, you have to max out S1. Otherwise, it's not worth it because that's where a lot of her Bruiser damage comes from. 
getting her turn like that and doing damage with S1. Obviously doing damage also with S3, but you essentially have to plus 15 her if you want to go down the Bruiser route. But super nice. That's actually a really nice Bruiser Lilius though. She's not like super squish. Holy, this... This helmet. Wow. This is also a really nice chest piece. Oh, this is also a really nice ring. Damn. Some of these pieces are really nice. Um. Alright, Leo. Nope. This is not for PvP. Uh, Alencia, speed immunity. So, I mean, standard Alencia build. You guys all know about this, right? 20k HP. This one's a little bit faster than what you would expect. Um, usually people run them at 200, most people. I, I run mine faster now too, though. But there's 216 speed, 92 crit chance, 271 crit damage, 22 effectiveness. And it's pretty good. Oh, that... This heroic helmet is really nice. It's actually also a really nice chest piece. Too, if this was health instead, this would have been perfect. That's a nice necklace. All right. Uh, let me see, Bassar. So slower build Bassar, not super tanky either. Um, but 243, probably against like super tanky teams to be annoying, uh, strip their buffs and whatnot. But definitely not for cleaving or anything here. Sid, speed imprint, decent stats, 3k attack, 200 speed, 90% crit chance, 289 crit damage. Mainly for imprint, but you can still do some damage here. Uh, ooh, Holiday Euphine. Okay, let me see. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, this is actually really nice. 3.6k attack, 1.3k defense, 15k, 15.4k HP, 255 speed, nothing else. No effectiveness because this is against squisher units, so not really per se to counter Bassars. Not really to counter Bassars, but against like, let's say Spectre Tenebria, another AoE unit for Spectre Tenebria. Um, you know, against Rylet maybe even. Um, you're just aiming for Junkyard Dog or for Euphine to land to get the burns. And birds are gonna do a lot of damage here. This is a nice holiday, Euphine. This is a nice holiday, Euphine. All right, uh, T Crozet. I don't, do you use T Crozet much, Careless? Speed hit here, there's actually Pretty tanky at 182 speed, 154 effect resist, and a 91 effectiveness. This guy actually has a lot of stats on him. <laughs> Your Crozet has a lot of stats on him for not using him much, to be honest. Like, this is this is definitely viable. You can pick him every if you ever need to. Alright, so, um, not gonna go over this. Not used, not used. Mirsa. Lifesteal, mainly for probably speed contesting here. It's a speed imprint. You have some stats on her, but not crazy, crazy stats. Uh, Tenebria. Okay, standard tanky effectiveness build, speed immunity. 1.5k defense, 12k HP, 217 speed, 139 effectiveness. So, but yeah, control meta hasn't been really used much. Or sorry, hasn't really been prominent. So... Not really a unit you would use that often anymore. All right. Not a unit you would really pick that often, but you have actually decent. There's actually really nice gear on him though. Double crit immunity set, 3.8k, 3.9k attack, 1.6k defense, 15k health, 16 to 62 crit chance, 292 crit damage. That's actually it is usable. It's definitely usable. But ML Ken isn't really used that often anymore, unfortunately. It's like very specific situations you would use him. A Raz, all right. Very, very strong free to play unit. Speed immunity, 1.7k defense, 21k HP, 226 speed, 134 effectiveness. This is actually really nice. He has a lot of effectiveness while still being tanky and having speed.
Oh, that's a nice chess piece. Hey, Rods. Build him if you haven't already. Dark Corvus. Oh. I really hate this unit, but damn. Speed resist. 198 speed. 28k HP with 135 effect resist. Running Crimson Seed. This is disgusting. Um... I hate this unit in RTA, but it's it's so good in certain situations that you can really force people to uh, make a decision. All right, a Momo standard. This is kind of how most people build a Momo now, but instead of speed resist, there's speed immunity. One point AK defense, fourteen K HP. So low, lower on HP side, higher defense for her. One eighty eight speed and two twenty nine effect resist. Most AMOs now are like easily 200 plus effect resist. A lot of people just run that now. And then also Shimaja Staff. Uh, Broman, 270 speed with 179 effectiveness. With a little bit of HP. Health means that 13 speed. So not crazy fast, but definitely usable here against uh, people who aren't ready for it. Some really nice gear. Bet is not built. Dizzy. Ah, yes, Dizzy. <sighs> Counter immunity. 1.7k defense. 16.7k HP. 198 speed. 128 effectiveness. Pretty nice Dizzy, to be honest. A little bit lower in effectiveness than what I would see from others. But she's also a much tankier with a little bit more speed compared to other ones. Once again, that was a really nice chess piece too. This necklace is actually not bad. You have the speed and the defense, just missing the effectiveness as a substat. The helmet and the chess piece are really nice. All right, Suri. Oof, god damn. You already have so many fast units. Speed crit. 1.3k defense, 10k HP, 298 speed with 114 effectiveness. Jesus Christ. Running Miss Comfy for the dual attack defense break. 22 speed. 21. 19. 20 speed. Disgusting. That is really nice, Cerise. It's really nice, Cerise. Um, Alright. Landy. Uh, speed crit. So this is a... It's like a speed bruiser Landy. Um... I think it's still being tested, to be honest. I don't think you're really using it right now. Okay, yeah. Five star. Um, Fallen Cecilia. All right, this was one of the units you said that was like uh, half geared, not really geared, not used much right now. I mean, Speedy Me is still really good, right? 1.8k defense, 24k HP, 45% effectiveness. I mean, this is still really good, Fallen Cecilia, that's... usable. It's just not like... OP as what some people would be using. Like, some people have like insane Fallen Cecilias. Alright. Ah. Uh, yes. The thing I hate the most now ML Ball against Cleaves is actually really good, especially this build. So you don't run an ML Ball that cuts the enemy, you run it slower, you let the C Dom go, you run it tanky. So it's 1.6k defense, 14.4k HP. 105 effectiveness, so the CDOM cannot nuke it. Um, generally, we see them run Proof of Valor, but this one's running Abyssal Crown. But I hate these ML balls where they're like tanky and the CDOM just can't so burn them down. And then they still debuff you. Um, yeah, the plus 29 Aureus, that way it doesn't conflict with Krau's Aureus. So Krau's Aureus is probably at 30, while Fonts is at Plus 29. Uh, let's see. Watch sure. Okay, so that's for one shot. Ruel. Speed resist. Oh my. Oh my god. This is some crazy ass Ruels. 1.8k defense. 19k HP. 181 speed. 209 effect resist. 
Oh, this is not even min-maxed. You still have 15% attack here. That could have been like flat health or something. This is a really nice helmet though. M missing a bit of speed. There's a really nice chest piece. Really nice chest piece, actually. Perfect subsets. Um, it's also really nice, really nice necklace. Yeah, like flat flat stats are never the end of the world for main stats. If your substats go really well, and still really usable. Oof. It's also a really nice boot. That's a crazy Ruel. That's a crazy Ruel. Uh, let me see. Is this built for? Okay, so um, a little bit slower, but speed immunity. Once again, kind of like for countering cleaves, but I don't know if this alley is fast enough. Is this alley fast enough? I thought normally they'd have to be like 270 to cut. I'm just curious. Is 260 enough? Okay. Um, but yeah, alley is actually another unit. So like, if you guys don't have ML ball, right? If you guys don't have ML Ball, Atlee is a very good unit. Atlee is a very good free-to-play unit that you can use to cut Flitica Cleaves because of the way he works, right? A uh, combat radius increases by 12% every time an ally except for the caster is attacked, right? So you get a lot of combat readiness from Flitica. So overall, Really good unit if you guys haven't built him against Flitica Cleaves. Yeah. Um, ML, sorry. Normal Haze, not you. No. No. Shuri Speed Imprint. Ah, ML Crown. Let me see this ML Crown. Oof! I like this. Speed Immunity, 1.6k defense, 27.4k HP, 220 speed. Adamant Shield. Has a bit of crit chance there. Speed, speed health. Really nice helmet. Chest piece. That's actually a really nice necklace for that. Speed with flat health. Ah, oh, this is a really nice boot. Yeah. Disgusting ML crowd. Disgusting. Uh, oh, Falcon Clary. Let's see. Oof! Okay, built like the current meta, speed immunity, 1.6k defense, 16.6k health, 273 speed with 101 effectiveness. So, pretty damn fast with effectiveness. Well, that's actually a really nice chest piece. Ah, Crow. So yeah, plus 30 Aureus, so that way it doesn't conflict with Fallen Cecilia, and then Speed Immunity with um, 24k HP, 208 speed, at 90% effect resist. <clears throat> so it's a lot of crowds these days, they're lower effect resist now, um, with higher HPs, um, higher speeds and stuff, but This one is missing a little bit of stats for that, though. Oh, this free-to-play... This free-to-play helmet rolled pretty well, actually. Mine rolled like doo-doo. 20 speed ring. 20 speed health percent ring. What the... Is this health boots? No, this is speed boots. Wow. If there were speed substats on the rest of uh, some of these pieces, um, on oh, this one, hmm. Um, all right. Uh, let me. No. Is Ken used? No. He's on. Nope. Never mind. Definitely not used like that. Uh, Fighter Maya. Actually, Fighter Maya is actually a really good unit. Two point three k defense, fifteen k HP. No speed, cuts counter. 74 crit chance though only. <sighs> kind of scary. And then 301 crit damage. Counter immunity. Count counter crit, sorry. Don't really need the immunity. Uh, 
Ah, you don't use her anymore. Okay. Uh, DN. Speed immunity, standard. 1.5k defense, 17k HP, 230 speed with 165 effect resist. Oof, this helmet. Almost perfect, missing the defense percent. That's a nice chest piece. That's a actually really nice necklace. Uh, oh, Charlotte. Do you actually use Charlotte much? Speedy immunity on Charlotte. 3.5k attack pretty much. 1.4k defense. 14.4k HP. 195 speed. Um, 284 crit damage. Obviously, you don't need the crit chance. Um, this, is actually pretty nice. this is actually a pretty nice Charlotte, to be honest. Yeah, Charlotte's really good. I've seen quite a few people use Charlotte. Um, unfortunately, I myself don't even have her. I could pull for her, but not a lot of resources, so to build. Elena, um, not really used to cut CDOM, a little bit too slow for that, but overall still really good stats on Elena there though. Really high effect resist. Rowana. Okay, so Rowana, triple broken set, defense, health, resist. Defense, health, resist set. 2k defense, 19.7k HP, 133 speed with 150 effect resist. It's good. It's purely to counter SSB, max Stella Harpa. Rose for slow cleave. So Rose for slow cleave. Speed, hit set. 2.2k. You can use it for slow cleave, but it looks like... Okay. 2.2k defense. 13k HP. 268 speed. Um, Alright. Alright. Nice Rose. Uh, May Chloe. Speed hit. Not many people use May Chloe though anymore, so... I don't think you. I don't really think you use this. Uh, let me see what else here. ML haste, speed immunity. That's a lot of defense. Two K defense. Twenty three point six K HP. One ninety two speed. Huh. That's a lot of defense on ML Haste, to be honest. I'm a little surprised. I would have expected more HP stats. So I'm guessing there's a defense main somewhere. No? What? Wait a minute. Where's all this defense coming from? T 32% substat. 29% substat. Oh, flat defense with defense percent. So it's just all purely from substats. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. Um uh, let me see. What else here would be used? Oxlots 272 speed. Speed broken. So not super fast, but probably spare speed gear. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. We're still on epics. Twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, end of epics, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 
49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 54 with 54 lines, right? Sorry, did I count that right? I counted that right, right? Plus one, two, three, four, five, six extras. So currently 492 I-90s. Yeah. Pure free to play account, but I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, chat. What do we say? Come on, chat. What do we say? We say thank you. All right. Um, um, and that looks, yeah, let's look at the spare resources. Uh, where is it? Okay. So there's a 521 golden reforges, 994, 994, um, A13. 3,621 manifestations, 2,259 wyverns, no banshee ones. All right. Ah. Uh, the mighty amount of dupes. Um. Ah. Uh. Even more mighty amount of dupes. There are so many ML5s here. It's raining ML5s on this account. It's legitly raining ML5s on this account. Alright. But, um... Yeah. Um... So... A little bit of insight for you guys into what a... What a whale account might look like here.